Hello everybody, this is Vanessa and Bobo with Vans, Van, and Travels. I guess I'm going to have to rename it Bobo and Vanessa's Travels or something. It's more his travels than it is mine, <laughs> he thinks. Um, I'm back in the desert again and it's hot, hot, hot. And that's a big, big change after being up in Flagstaff. Man, it was cold. And um, I think I wore four shirts every day. I had three, like three tank tops, sometimes two tank tops and then a t-shirt and then long sleeves over that. And then I was wearing insulated underwear and, and then some kind of pants over that. I was wearing three pair of socks, two wool and one regular. Well, one pair was real thick wool. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of them. Um, all of those sporting Carhartt, Carhartt. And those things are warm if you, if you know anything about them. They're hot, actually. But I don't think my feet ever got warm. And as I came down in elevation, it, it didn't really get warm till I got to Phoenix. And I chose to drive last night because that's the first time I've driven at night. I think it's been close to a year. I'm not, I may be lying too, I don't, but I don't drive at night normally. Not because I can't see, but um, I, just, I don't like to drive at night, especially now that I'm traveling. I want to... I want to see everything I can see. Okay, I'm not going to waste time talking today. I have some pretty clips for you. And um, I wanted to get a lot more, but things just aren't that cooperative right now until this thing's over with the with, uh, restrictions. It'll be hard to get what I'd like to, but it was okay. It was, it was fun. I had a ball and um, that's about it. I'll let you say it for yourself. Well, I'm coming up on Sedona, the back side of it anyway. And I stopped at a ranger station just to see if I could find out some information on some BLM land. And I'm in the Red Rock area, by the way. And they are closing everything in this area. They just put out a new list on the the board outside the ranger station. All of the places that I was going to check out for camping tonight is all closed. So I got to come up with another idea. Just wanted to show you how pretty this is. And this is nothing compared to, well, I kind of messed up today as I usually do. I was supposed to turn down 89B out of Flagstaff and I didn't so I still, I'm okay that I came this way because I'm seeing some things I haven't seen before, so that's okay. And I'm not seeing anything through this camera, but I hope you are. I guess these people think I'm making their picture over here. Okay, guys, see you next stop. I'm in Sedona, but I just got here. And I just can't resist stopping and getting what little bit of these views I can. Maybe down the road I can get a better one. I'm hopping out of the van right now. Hope I can get a good view for you. Okay, I'm at another pull-off in Sedona. Well, I think I'm about two or three miles from Sedona. But I stopped at the Bell Rock pull-off, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that that one's Bell Rock right there. But I'm not 100% sure. It's one of these out here, and that looks more like... And that could be it right there, too. 
just not sure when I see a picture or something I'll know or my friend Larry would know because he sent me all these pictures when he first came out here and when I came out here I didn't see all these pull-offs for some reason This is the prettiest place in the world to me, and this is nothing here compared to what we're getting ready to see. Just wanted to share it with you. It's over across the road. I'm on uh, Highway 179, and I should have come down 89B, but I didn't. But I'm glad I didn't because I'm seeing more things that I haven't seen. This one's probably going to be a two-part, too, because I know there's a lot ahead that I want to film. There's dead wood like this all over the place. I don't know what the deal is, if it's sacred or what, but I know it's illegal to touch it as far as picking it up and taking it home with you. I don't need one more thing in my van. You're okay. <laughs> This is the same view I previously had, but I went on down this trail, and this is a much better view of all this. I just can't get enough of it. I absolutely love this place. They say people come here to meditate and get a lot of energy. I don't know about all that, but I get energy when I come here because it makes me feel like wanting to do stuff. I guess that's where the energy comes from. It's so pretty. And straight across right there, I'm pretty sure it's Bell Rock. This is the Mariposa restaurant I talk about all the time in Sedona. And guess what? They're closed today. I'm going to walk up here and let you get a a little bit of closer view because I want to tell you something when I get up here closer I hope the wind's not drowning drowning me out but I don't know if there's anything that can drown me out <laughs> okay when I came here last year my friend Jan and I okay that's uh, like a patio over there you can't really or I can't okay they got the covers closed over the windows but anyway there's like little piping that goes all the way around the patio and smoke's coming out you smell from that grill and you can't hardly stand it but I'm telling you this is the best food right here that ever was and I will be back I hate to tell anybody, but I came all the way to Arizona from Indiana just to eat at this place. I'm really kind of sad about it. And here's your view from any part of the restaurant. I'm going to go slow. And here comes somebody to help me. About lunch time, those mountains are really lit up and they're always looking like they're different colors. I'm sitting in my van about to cry because I can't get a real bad sandwich, but I'll survive. I wanted to say hello to Lois, Jenna, and Carissa. Lois is a good friend of mine from back in Michigan City, and I just got a message from her that her daughters watch me with hers, and I just love Lois. So, hello, Carissa and Jenna. Wish you guys were here. Would find some place to have lunch if I have to make it. I'm parked out in the middle of the road, but I couldn't help it. When I saw this, I had to get it. 
Isn't that amazing? I'm looking at the rocks and just touching the camera and I'm messing it up. But I wanted to get those really weird looking rocks up there. I don't know the names of any of these places. And I didn't bring my tripod so I know I'm moving around. That's so, so pretty. Look at that house up there. I bet it's got 75 rooms in it. Oh well, I wouldn't want to clean up anything that big, I guarantee you. Sure is pretty though.